how do you feel about seeing each other 24-7 every day? Love it, amazing! <laughs> and I'm not saying that with a gun in my head. Hi, uh, I'm Darren, I'm 29 this year, I'm a lawyer at a tech company. And hi guys, I'm Liz, I'm 24 this year and I just graduated from uni. I do run a small home business selling artworks. We've been together for three years, we're meant to get married this year. And uh, we've been living together in this apartment for seven months. Hi, my name is Darren, I'm 34 this year, I'm a freelance personal trainer. Hi, I'm Faz, I'm 31 and I'm a Corporate Comms and Marketing Manager. We've been together for 14 years and uh, married for 2 years. And we've been staying together for 7 months. Hi, I'm Hilary, I'm 24 this year and I'm working as a social worker. I'm Matthew, I'm 28 this year, uh, I work in the social sector and we've been together for 2 years. Uh, we've been married and uh, staying together for 1 month now. I think I'm actually busier at home. It's hard to get away from the computer sometimes. I decided to start the at home art business, so that's what's been keeping me busy. Currently, I'm conducting clients one on one training online. Uh, so, with whatever equipment they have, I will try to craft out a program that suits them. Now that I work from home, basically, I feel a bit confined and not really meeting other people. So, the only time I get to see them is through Zoom meetings and video calls. Sometimes, like working hours bleed into or your rest hours, and then I still have the tendency to check my emails on weekends. I haven't had as much work as I previously did, uh, so I've been uh, working on some other stuff at home, uh, learning new skills. Uh, like programming for example. I definitely see how he's very disciplined and uh, work out in the morning, work out twice a day, meal prep his meals and uh, definitely now that he's doing online coaching at home, I suddenly can hear his uh, very different PP voice that he used on his clients. Sometimes when I'm working outside, I can hear him talking to his clients like, okay, correct, correct form, okay, let's do it, yes, you can do it. So, uh, and very assertive, which is normally uh, not the case. Uh. Usually, she's a very friendly, bubbly, sweet type of person at home. But now that I get to witness her working from home, every time if I were to, you know, uh, bypass or disturb her or make certain noise or sound, it should be like <laughs> It's better to give each other space to do our own stuff Yeah, to, to prevent from any conflicts going on also Now that she's working from home, she makes a lot of phone calls from home uh, to her patients It's quite funny because she'll be talking very very loudly and it echoes throughout the whole house Hello? Hello? Ah! Ah! Miss so and so, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you> do. <laughs> <laughs> because he's learning coding, right? And he's quite difficult. He's not a very um, tech savvy person to begin <laughs> with. When he's stressed, right? Then he will repeat with himself, or he will like move and dance when he's trying to like, <laughs> write something. He will like keep moving about, tapping. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this function, that function. Actually, I find it quite weird and quite funny. <laughs> But I try to accept him for <laughs> The main thing I've noticed is really how my partner, how Liz copes with stress, watching her rage at her computer or rage at the artwork. Oh um, yeah. I think I think that, that really gave uh, a bit of dimension uh, into what she does on a daily basis. She's all like, you see this? You see this? Hole? Don't 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 hold the torch like that. You gotta you gotta go lighter. You see, oh my god. And look at this, dripping off the back now. What am I? So there was this one particular incident that I remember uh, where someone messaged him uh, on an email on a Saturday morning at like I think 8am and the message was something like oh uh, a friendly reminder to check this and reply this guy lah this guy went to go and type back a message and he essentially you know said like there's nothing friendly about a reminder on a Saturday morning you better check your time zones before you message me and if you really need this I'll just get back to you on Monday it's very rare to see a person draw up such healthy boundaries and dare to do it. It's something that I really look up to, to be able to stand up for yourself. Initially, I think 
when the circuit breaker started, uh, actually I didn't work from home as much as he did. Uh, there were days when like, I, I feel a bit like, like wow, he can work from home, then if he never do this household chore, then like wow, then I realised that I shouldn't be so calculative and uh, I mean, if, even though he's working from home, he has his own like stress to handle, so I shouldn't be expecting that because he's at, physically at home means he can do more for the house. I think it took him some time to adjust that I'm at home 24-7 because, <laughs> <laughs> because usually I'm in the office. So now I'm at home, he's very stressed lah. A lot of housework, uh, a lot of things like, why the house messy? Why is this here? About two weeks before the circuit breaker, we actually adopted a rescue dog. There was more things to do, like more chores. I started feeling quite stressed out. I didn't feel comfortable letting him know that because I felt a bit guilty. Like, who am I to complain? I'm not the one that's working and earning money for the family. Um, but eventually, it came out an argument. And I, I think that that argument was quite important for us uh, because he actually reacted in a way where it validated how I was feeling and he didn't dismiss my, my stress. Uh. I cannot anyhow order food panda, bubble tea or fast food. I definitely work out more. I eat everything. Oven bake, no more fried things anymore. I realized that I can be a little bit grumpy with her, like, oh, you again. <laughs> so I realized that I have to be a bit more uh, watchful for how I, I interact with her. Uh, cannot be so careless with my words, cannot, you know, take, take the things that she does for me for granted. Being at home more also has given me all, more opportunity to serve her. Life. So uh, that has been quite enjoyable for me. I think learning to serve my wife, learning to do like little things, household chores. It's quite a different way of uh, loving in, in this season. You work very hard. You do it because you care about our family and you want to provide for our family. Yeah, I'm just very glad that I'm stuck with you because you're really my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I truly appreciate uh, how much work you put in happily putting in so much effort into improving the house, into providing meals, right, into pursuing your own passions. I think that the circuit breaker has really shown me how dedicated you are to, to building uh, our life. I'm, I'm thankful for during this period whereby I get to you know, be with her for, for, for two months uh, because otherwise she'll be very busy. I, I take this moment and then I would like to thank her, you know, yeah, <laughs> to be part of my life during these two months. Uh, I would like to thank Darren for his contribution to the housework. I cannot imagine having this work from home circuit breaker without him, so uh, we are quite lucky. Thank you for taking care of me like when I work from home, like very simple things like pouring water for me, or taking food for me, offering to cook. Yeah, I think all these things actually um, Make it, make it less difficult uh, through this period and uh, makes working from home very enjoyable so I appreciate it <laughs> I'm very thankful that I can talk to one another anytime and spend more time together I'm very very thankful for that I think the most importantly is the, the wife is always right Yeah. Always treat your partner as a friend first. Sometimes you treat your friends better than what you treat your husband or your boyfriend. So I think uh, respect is key. As long as you have respect for other person, you can survive staying together. I think compromise, as cliche as it sounds, is very important. You have to understand that there are many reasonable points of view. A degree of compromise it goes a long way in trying to cohabitate happily. No matter what life is going to throw at you, like if work gets tough, if kids come into the zombie picture, apocalypse. If there's a zombie apocalypse, whatever, like we will be okay together because we have that relationship, we have that connection, and we always put work into it. Think about love, what it means to uh, love the other person, whether it's being careful with our words or whether it's being patient with the other person. Uh, there might be times when certain things that the other person does hurt you before and we openly communicate about it and we consider the other person's feelings then actually all these things can be worked through there's no need to shy away from like these disagreements like uh, to see it instead as like uh, chances to exercise like love and uh, care towards the other person and to work through this thing together so thank you for watching this video if you like this video leave a comment and don't forget to like share and subscribe bye, bye.